Hi, I'm Pamela. I'm an artist based in the northeast of Scotland. I did a little bit of exploring today. I came up to the House of Dunn. I haven't been up this path before and it was really beautiful. The river is just winding its way through the woods. Just gorgeous. Um, I've seen a tree creeper. I haven't seen any squirrels yet. I was hoping I might see some squirrels. So I filmed this in February 2020, um, obviously just before the lockdown and everything. The house of Dunn is near Montrose where I live and it's a grand house and it has some really beautiful gardens with um, a stream flowing through and uh, waterfalls and um, kind of exotic plants and things. But the reason I went in February is because I was thinking it'd be nice to get some snowdrops, uh, perhaps next to running water, and that'd be a good idea for a painting. Because I thought I was going to stay pretty close to the car, I didn't change into more appropriate footwear or <laughs> um, make sure that I had exactly the right equipment. It turned out that the big camera I was holding was still missing a battery. I hadn't taken it out with me. so. I just carried on exploring and I just went further and further off and I just, oh, what's, what's behind this? What's past this bridge? I just, instead of dropping off the equipment, the sensible thing, I just carried on exploring. It was really beautiful. It was just a different type of woodland. Beautiful. And I was just enjoying exploring. It's a bit, when you're somewhere that you don't know that well, it's hard to say, right, this is where I'm going to stop and do my artwork. I'm not going to go and explore up that path any further and see, you know, some amazing site that I just, you kind of just have to stop at some point. I'd find this place just kind of, just across a little bridge, there was a log pointing up the river and you could see a few bends of the river and it just looked gorgeous. So that's where I decided to stop. But I, you know, part of me just wanted to keep keep following the path, keep following the path, find out what's there. My first job when I'm sitting down to look at a scene like this is decide the boundaries of where I am drawing. My tendency is to try and put absolutely everything in. And the other thing about a scene like this where there is lots of complex shapes, trying to make sense of that and simplify it down um, into something that's more manageable for me to create and also more visually pleasing. So I'm trying to get in the feeling of the river bending round and some trees kind of framing it from either side. There was a little wren that was dipping about near the water and um, really difficult to get some video footage of wrens because just they're there one second and then they flitted off and then you can find them again. At <laughs> um, this point I'm trying to just lay in the course of the river and then I'm trying to build up my tonal values. I'm just trying to get in some darks into the trees and the bank of the river. Really at this point I'm just trying to fill in the background and you know trying to get rid of the beige of the paper so it starts to come together and, and you can kind of see where it's heading. Unfortunately because I wasn't very well prepared with my equipment that's where I ran out of the um, footage of me creating it but I did quite a bit more green. One of the things I liked about the scene was the way that the trees around the river had a lot of moss on them and that was just catching the light beautifully. Uh, I had some problems with the log in the front because sometimes when it was in shadow it would be really really dark on the darkest things in the scene and then but then the light would suddenly hit it and it would be beautifully lit up so I went back and forth on that a little but I'm quite happy with that as a sketch. It's funny when you go exploring somewhere I, I, I didn't know I would find this today and I didn't even go I didn't even follow the river all the way up, so there could there could be much more to see. So what have I learned from this trip? Well, come out with all the batteries I need. But also I really 
I liked doing the bit of exploring. It's a bit tricky balance for me because I'm limited in the times I can go out plein air. It's a tricky balance between exploring and finding, you know, the good spots and just deciding actually I'm going to sit down here and I'm going to make a picture of what I see here and use my time for doing actual artwork. In terms of the painting itself, I think looking at it now, I probably could have brought in a bit of sky further down. It would have brought it further down than it really was. But I think if I'd done that and had a bit of light going back into the painting, it might have been a bit better. But we live and learn. And the point of doing these sketches is just to learn from observation and then to make these decisions quickly. It's all good. Thanks for joining me on this plein air adventure. I'm sure you'll enjoy the next one too.